looking at Cripple Creek Ferry from after the gold rush because every summer should be the summer of Neil. And these are just great back porch strummers sitting around the campfire. I did a lesson on Tell Me Why a couple of weeks ago. I'll link my Neil Young lesson playlist at the end of this video. And I'm doing this particular song because it's really fun to play. And there's really no good lesson on YouTube here for it. The only other lesson that I found anyway has the signature lick wrong. So we're going to be looking at that signature lick that I just demoed there and the whole chord progression and the strumming pattern. So what we have is a G major and Neil's strumming pattern is very frequently started by a bass note or in this case two bass notes. So you have a you have a double hit on the G on the on the bottom string and then a strum so and he often mutes that right he palm mutes a lot he does a lot of what I call technical term thumping he just kind of he thumps a lot okay signature lick is a quick change between A minor, A minor 7, which is just lifting your finger off the third string, playing that third string G string open, and then going to a C. So it's... And I would suggest playing it that way as three down strokes followed by an up stroke. So down, 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 up. And you're really playing 5, 4, 3, 2 here. That's essentially what it is. Down, 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 up, and then back to your G. Like so. The other lesson on here has it something like that, just like quick change in between A minor and C, that's not it. It's A minor, A minor 7, C. So that's the signature lick. Let's look at the rest of the chord progression from the chorus, which the song starts with the chorus, and then the one verse. It's a very short song. So it would be, excuse my bad singing, but it's, hey, hey. between C and G. Make way for the Creek Creek Ferry. The water's going down. It's a mighty tight squeeze. Okay, so that's just C to G. And you know, if you play your G chord with your pinky on the first string, which is the way you should play a G chord because then you have the rest of your fingers available to do quick changes between chords like a C chord, which is extremely common quick change, obviously. All right, and then the one verse is, Alone the captain stands, hasn't heard from his dead cans, the gambler tips his cap, walks down. So that's all alone, just hang on G, the captain stands, hasn't heard from his dead cans, the gambler C, tips his cap, walks toward the door, back to G. And you notice I'm trying to keep that, that very thumpy, emphatic right hand going the whole time. And then it's 
is the second half, D7, of the Cruz A minor, and you know he hates to lose C to G. And that's it, you know, it's an under two minute song, I believe, but you can, you know, you sing that one verse twice, mixing it up with the chorus, and you can have fun around the campfire. There's a great little fun strummer for you from After the Gold Rush. Play around with that, sit on your deck, sit around the campfire, have fun with it this summer, and as always, thanks for joining me. See you next time.